Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to BFX Kitchen. So I have a happy news today. Uh, we got support from the Foundry. Uh, they gave us like a developer license for a uh, new Katana and Mari. We are going to build some tools for Mari, for Katana, for Nuke, the next videos. So I would love to thank the Foundry really for this because that's like nice support for the channel. Um, and today I have a, a project I'm working on. I just made it during the weekend and I will make a video series around it. Um, so basically I built a plugin for Nuke which uses the NVIDIA NGX uh, in paint so you can make mask inside Nuke and it will clean up uh, the footage for you inside Nuke you have more control that you can make an animated mask and so on and um, it will use uh, the NGX uh, in paint for finding the best fit uh, when you are cleaning the footage it helps the compositors if you are trying to remove the wire of an actor or so on in visual effects and you don't have to clean it up getting some pieces from uh, the footage and trying to copy paste it in the line of the wire and so on. So let me show you what I have done so far. Yeah, because I'm debugging it using Visual Studio so this one will run it. That's my uh, crashed scene. <laughs> uh, so that's the original photo like we have here now. Like the same from last video and that's the mask I have also different type of masks um, and what we are going to do is uh, basically that's the NGX in paint I just created this uh, plugin and you give it an input of the image and uh, the mask and then voila that's what you get uh, there is two bugs I have to fix uh, first one is there's something wrong with the coloring at some point because um, when you when you request the pixels value from Nuke API, you get it without uh, as a linear uh, color space, I think. And when you're showing it now, we are running it in sRGB. So even if I switch it to linear, there's always something missing. Something looks weird. And that's basically color conversion from 0 to 1 and from 0 to 255. Um, so that's one bug. And the second bug, I'm trying to find a callback when I load the frame for the first time because I have a render stripe function, which basically every time you see this uh, white line for you loading something, uh, that's my callback. And when I have this, I do my image processing stuff and then I'm uh, replacing the pixels in the image which I don't like uh, so let's check with some other um, uh, alpha uh, sorry mask so you can see it's also here now that's the removal part and here that's a full body and I can show you how it actually looks like because um, uh, I'm also writing it out uh, as a file and I'm trying to do like a real-time update in the viewport of Nuke and that's the point, that's why I have a problem with color space but when I write it outside as a JPEG file it works fine and it looks like this okay and again if I try to switch uh, this one here so it looks like this at the output and when I show it as a saved file uh, let me update it when I show it as a file, come on, looks like this. And again, let me change uh, the mask from here to this one, where is this part? And if I show it here, it looks like this. And when I save it as a file and try to view it, I have to update, it looks like this. Um, so, as a, as a solution, it works. It's nice that we can implement something like this in production. Uh, this that some bugs need to be fixed. Uh, like I, as, as I mentioned, uh, the thing with the color and uh, the updating because now it updates more often. Like, look, if I try to zoom in, it's quite fast. Yeah, wait, let me switch here. It's updating on like on moving on something happening. It tries to uh, get the changes and then it makes the clean up again 
It's okay. I mean, it's not, but it's annoying that it's slow, but at the same time, I'm uh, trying to find a better solution for this. Uh, and it works also with videos, with anything. So, and it's really fast. It's not like real time, but at the same time, it's quite fast. Like you have half a second or something to run it. And uh, it's all built in inside Nuke as a plugin, all in C++. Yeah, so I just wanted to share it with you. And in the next few weeks, I will try to um, make a tutorial about how we can build a new plugin and how I implemented the NGX um, uh, solutions into Nuke. Um, and I hope that until then I will be fixing these bugs because that's really annoying. But yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye. Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you at the home.